Hello, everyone. I'm Zhao Chuang. Let's draw a Manchurosaurus, the first dinosaur genus discovered in China. Its study was implemented by foreign scientists at the time. This dinosaur was found very early, and its research was confusing due to limited conditions. We now know that the Manchurosaurus skeleton of the days was assembled from many different hydrosaurs. After years of resorting, we removed the elements of other genera, selected the most important specimen, and reconstructed its current look. Manchurosaurus was a hydrosaurid dinosaur with an enormous body. Despite not being as large as the Shantungosaurus, its body length could reach 10 meters. It was a peculiar dinosaur, a flat-headed hydrosaur, meaning it had no bizarre ornaments on the head. It walked on all fours, using four legs to support its body. However, when running, it could incredibly raise its forelimbs and run in a bipedal manner, just like ostriches. Now, let's get started. Go with the head first. Draw two lines with the front ends a bit narrower, indicating the back of its head is relatively broad. Draw the eye on this position. The mouth in front can be depicted like this. Although it was a duck-billed dinosaur, its mouth was unlike ducks. In its life, as it had extra keratin that differentiated its mouth from the duck-bill-shaped bone. Here is the nostril. Draw some wrinkles above the keratinous beak. Draw the ear hole here. After that, we can place some folds behind the head. Draw its throat and the back of its head. We will draw this dinosaur running on two hind limbs with two forelimbs lifted. Draw the structures around its shoulders, followed by the arm. When running, Manchurosaurus raised its forefeet like this. The forefeet of hydrosaurs were composed of two hooves. Then, draw the other side. Now, we move to draw its belly. Sketch some muscle structures to surround the neck. Then, draw the boundary between the skin and thigh. Its thigh was connected to the torso with a piece of skin. We can present this part like this, followed by the thigh, the calf, and the foot that is stepping on the ground. This dinosaur had three toes on its feet. Two on this foot are visible, and the other is blocked. Draw its tail extends backward. On the underside of its tail, we can add some shading. Then, move to draw the other leg and its raised foot. We can only see two toes from this angle as the third is blocked. Let's also draw some shadows under its feet and on the ground. Then, add a row of blunt spikes along its back. Draw some tiny dots on the lateral side of its body to represent the large scales scattered in the small scales. At the armpits, sketch some folds. Add a bit of shadow on the ventral side of its belly. 
followed by some muscle traces on the arm. Next, let's color this Manchurosaurus. We first use pink to enclose an area on the face to the chest. Then, fill this block with pink to create a soft flesh effect. Also, color this section on the body side pink. Proceed to color the inside of the thigh. The posterior of this thigh to the underside of the tail should also be filled pink. Now, we use gray to draw a line alongside the pink edge to make the boundary line more defined. On its back, we can draw some white patterns. Then, color the rest of this area gray. The gray skin will set out the pink part, you just filled in and make it appear softer. This creates an illusion that the gray skin can provide protection, whereas the pink fleshy part allows easy movement, as the joints of its limbs in locomotion are relatively soft. Then, let's use brown to color its nails, and the keratin on its mouth. We can also use brown to depict the ground. Color the mouth as well as the spikes on its back. Just slightly embellish them. Instead of filling the whole spike, leave a tiny uncolored tip on the upper left to create a highlighted effect. Lastly, use yellow to color the eye. In this way, we finish drawing this Manchurosaurus.